Know that the enemy is crushed. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. This week, we want to talk about what the Bible really tells us and teaches us about the condition of our enemy as believers. You know, when we talk to Christians, when we talk to believers about the devil, sometimes people, uh, uh, believers, uh, don't have a proper understanding of the enemy. Some, of course, don't want to talk about the devil. They completely deny uh, his working and they don't even bother about it, don't realize that uh, many of the problems they face, many of the things they face are of demonic origin and, and therefore they don't deal with uh, the devil and evil spirits and so on. Uh, then on the other hand, sometimes uh, people so magnify the devil, they, 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 they so uh, talk, talk so much about the devil, giving him such a big place. But what we want to do this week is to look at scripture and help us understand a correct biblical perspective of the enemy as believers. This is true if you're a believer in Jesus Christ. This is how Satan and his demons are in front of you. In Genesis 3 and verse 15, right there, as soon as Adam and Eve sinned, where the devil thought he had spoiled the party, so to speak, uh, he had uh, disrupted God's good plan for the, for the earth and for the Garden of Eden and for man, when he had thought he had won something, the Lord God Almighty speaks and declares and says that the seed of the woman will crush the head of the serpent. So this is exactly what the Lord Jesus Christ did, that he dealt such a severe crushing blow to the enemy to Satan and his demonic powers on the cross. So as a person who is in Christ, as a person who is a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, this is your position towards the devil. The devil has, uh, the head of the serpent has been crushed. That Christ Jesus has crushed the head of the serpent and therefore the Apostle Paul tells us in Romans 16, the God of peace shall crush Satan underneath your feet. Now he's writing to believers. Remember what the Lord Jesus Christ did. The Lord Jesus crushed the head of the serpent. Now he's telling believers, it's your turn. It's your turn to crush the head of the serpent. Now, what does it mean to crush the head? That phrase simply means to walk in absolute mastery, dominion, and authority over the devil. You know, as believers in Christ Jesus, that's the way we are supposed to walk over the devil. The devil lies crushed underneath our feet. From today, I want to challenge you. When you think of the devil, when you think of his demon, de demons and evil spirits doing different kinds of things, this is the way you're supposed to view the devil. The devil is crushed underneath your feet, as far as you are concerned. Now, we're not saying that the devil is not active in the world, uh, active in, in the environment around us, because that we know is in, in, in his hands. But as far as you are as a believer, the devil lies crushed underneath your feet. That's the way you're going to deal or approach the enemy. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will instill Till in us that sense of triumph, that sense of authority, that sense of dominion over the devil, knowing that he is crushed underneath our feet. And may he help us to walk in that dominion authority every moment of every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.